set to enter the world-famous octagon once again. Brandon Vera comes into the octagon with a lot of athleticism and good technical striking. He uses his Muay Thai to set up attacks from multiple angles. Watch for brutal leg kicks and knees from him. Brandon Vera, fired up and ready to go. Hiro Nakamura making his way to the world famous octagon. Nakamura is a judo fighter with solid conditioning and very effective takedowns. He's been in there against a lot of talented fighters and shown a great deal of heart when he took Lyoto Machida the distance back at UFC 76. Kazahiro Nakamura ready to throw down and put on a show. Our Tale of the Tape is brought to you by Dodge. And now with the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, here is Bruce Buffer. And now, five rounds for the UFC Light Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist. He stands six feet, three inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of San Diego, California, Brandon, the true Vera. And now, fighting out of the red corner, this man is a judo fighter. He stands five feet, 11 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Tokyo, Japan. Kazuhiro Nakamura! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Dan Mergliata. All right, guys, this is for the UFC Championship. I want a nice, clean fight. I want to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. Touch gloves, come on out, fight. Thank you, commands. Hi again, everybody. Mike Goldberg alongside Joe Rogan, and we are ready for round one. Are you ready? Are you ready? Brandon Vera, Kazahiro Nakamura. And here we go. go the proud Filipino Brandon Vera is known mostly for his striking game, his Muay Thai, because of the early part of his career when he was knocking people out. But he's an eight-time Grappler's Quest champion, and he studies his Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu under Lloyd Irvin. Yeah, he has an excellent ground game that we very rarely get to see because he prefers to stand up and trade blows with guys. Jolly closed the distance, now the clinch. He's got over under here from the back. And he gets reversed. Half guard. He's got the full mount. Oh, he gets reversed. Submission time. Now into side control. Okay, moves into the mount here. Into half guard. Butterfly guard. Get off on him. Get off on him. Under three minutes now. Oh, he lets him up. Nice. He drops him with the uppercut. Somehow he's able to get up. Oh, we got tagged with the hook. He shoots in. Shrugs him off again. Shrugged off for now. Good takedown defense. Oh, they're just throwing. Oh, they're exchanging here. Working with the over under under here. Under two minutes remains. Get him back and up and make him pay. And a knee to the body. He's got his opponent up towards the fence. He ate that one. Push kick. Oh, big, big head, head kick. kick. Back him up. Thanks. Thanks. Oh, wow. looping hook there. Inside with the clinch again. Thirty 
seconds remains in the round. Oh! Nice body shot and then hook combination. Just threw him away, Joe. Good body shot. And that's the end of round one. Man, they really mixed it up in that round, Joe. Yeah, both these guys are very well-rounded, and they had a chance to show it in there. All you need to do is score. You score with that takedown, you score with your jabs, mix up your jabs a lot. All right, all right. Ready to go. Start the Hey, you never against the cage. You turn him, I want you kneeing or digging to the body. This is the round he's going to break. You hear me? You got to take it to him. You can dump him, control him. He's going up the cage, okay? You got to come back before he steps back. All right, let's go to the replay, Mike. Some beautiful counter fighting on display. Here we see a slip straight into a vicious counter strike. And some incredible power on that shot here. Just connected perfectly. A lot of versatility being shown in that Michael, round, Mike. Punches. Hey, find the knees right after. Get to the body some too, okay? There's the beautiful Ariani as we get set for round two. Are you ready? Are you ready? We start round two. Go, this fight's scheduled for five. Five-minute rounds. Nice down. body shots. Oh, but he oh, ate a left hand. Left. Oh, big kick. Nice body kicks here. What an exchange here. That one checked. And now he's answered. He's got his back here. He's really landing those short punches inside, Mike. He's got his back. Let him see the uppercut. And oh, nicely done. Trips him right down. Reversal. Very nice. Back to side control. Three minutes remains in the second round. And back to full guard. Postured up. Great job on the reversal. Side control. Using the butterflies. Pushes him off with the feet. He lets him up. Over the top. Two minutes left in the second. Oh! And he slips and runs up on his back. Oh, good hip escape from the bottom. Moved into half guard. 90 seconds remains in the second. Great reversal. Oh! Pushing his opponent away. Minute remains in the second round. Oh! Another big shot. He's got half guard. 45 seconds remains. Let's see what he does from here, Joe. 30 seconds remains in the round. Yes. Get busy here. Pushes him off of the feet. There it is. He gets the clinch here. We have completed two rounds. A superb display of mixed martial arts skills from both fighters. Yeah, these are two very well-rounded guys, Mike. It'll be interesting to see what adjustments they make before going into the next round. That liver kick's working. Everything you're doing is working. He's loading up. He's trying to take you out with one. You got to punish him. Back. Breathe. All right. Go to the body and press him back. Breathe. Come on, breathe. Bro, he had a work. Let's check out some of the action from that round, Mike. This was just an unbelievable counter right here. This is flawless timing. And here's that incredible throw. That is world-class technique right there. And here's that lightning fast takedown. Amazing wrestling technique. Solid action in that round, Mike. You're gonna go win this round? You got to win this round. You win this round, you got to. There's Shandella getting set for round three. Are you ready? Are you ready? 
And we are set for the start of round three. This is a championship fight, so it is scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Pushing his opponent away. And he answers. Those shots to the body are vicious. Beautiful hook. Boom. Both guys staying in tight. Nakamura is cut open here, Mike. Both men exchanging. Oh, they're just throwing. Oh, they're exchanging here. It looks like Barra is cut here too, Joe. And down he goes. I can't believe he got back to his feet, but he has hurt badly. Under three minutes now. They clinch again. Good takedown defense. Using the cage to help him. Gets the takedown. All he needed was a little bit of leverage, Joe. And this fight ends up on the ground again. Oh, he got reversed. Losing the half guard. The real key here is to use the cage to help get yourself back to your feet. throwing that punch. Tough to do in this position with the cage there for his opponent. And the trip. Nicely Very nice. done. How quick was that? Wow, that right hand. Oh, he got reversed. And he gets reversed. Oh, he's got the mount. This is not good. Oh, reversal. He's got side control. And really raining down some haymakers. Half guard. And that All brings right, to conclusion right. round three. They both set a pretty good pace in that round, Joe. How do you think it went? It's always tough to predict how the judges will score it, Mike. Both fighters took some notable damage in that one. Control range, finish with, he sets up with your hands in his face fast, fast. All right, hard hands in his face. I need you to circle left and stay aggressive. Get that leg kick going. Get that leg kick going. He has no defense. Left. Three. Let's take a look at the replay, Mike. Very nice takedown here. And here's that amazing judo throw, taking the fight to the mat with authority. Very good action in that round, Mike. Five minutes of hell, tighten your punches up. The uppercut is there all day, but you've got to bring something behind it. The beautiful Brittany with us tonight. We are set for round four. Are you ready? Are you ready? Three rounds in the Let's books. Go, guys. Round four is underway. Make them reach it and make them pay. And again, over and over again. What an exchange here. The clinch game once. Nice trip. Again, he takes him down. He ate that one. Half guard. Get that leg up. Do not let him turn into you. Get him from half guard. In the full guard here. Let's go. Let's go. Reversal. Very nice. Big right hand. Moves into full mount here. Able to posture up from full mount. Oh, he gets reversed. Oh, that one dropped him. Oh, he's back on his feet. Good takedown defense. Oh, they're going to close it up again, right to the clinch. Oh, 
Again. Oh, big right hand. He's down. If he gets careless, he can get knocked out. He's back to his feet, but he's hurt. And now he's answered. He's got his back here. Man, they're pummeling back and forth. It's hard to see who has the edge here. Both fighters continuing to try to get to a more dominant position. Nice right hand. And that's the end of round number four. The fifth and final round is coming up next. Solid action to take us into the fifth. Yeah, these guys are showing why they're at the top of their division. Good boxing, good wrestling, good jiu-jitsu. Every aspect of their game is rock solid. Heavy hands for me, all right? Got to keep those uh, hands up inside. The leg kicks are there, all right? The leg kicks are there in three twos, right? Three twos. Let's take a look at some of the action from that round, Mike. This was well-timed here. Just a beautiful slip and counter. And here's that devastating counter strike. That is world class striking right there. And this was right on target. That is nasty, scary power in that shot. That was some nice action from that round, Mike. Finish this fight. Get it over with. He is not as good as you. Ariani gets us set for the fifth and final round. Are you ready? Are you ready? We are set for the go, fifth fight. and final round of this UFC title fight. Nice high kick. He shoots. Shrugs him off. Fast hands, good battle inside. He's got his back here. Oh, answered by a big body shot. And he caught him again. Trying to find the range. Shoots in. Shrugged off for now. Good takedown defense. Inside with the clinch again. Pulls the legs out. He's got him down. Nicely done. Good execution. Oh! In the half guard. He's in the full guard. Able to posture up. Nakamura keeps getting tagged on that cut, and he is bleeding bad. And he lets him back up. Head kick. Two minutes now remains in the fight. Oh, he got tagged with a hook. He's got his back. And he oh, answers. He caught the kick. He takes him down again. Side control. Oh, he got reversed. Good job hip escaping there. Moves to half guard. Side Thanks control. Done, Joey. Pushed down the leg, got the hip out of the way, and got... Mount again. Oh, good hip escape from the bottom. Moved into half guard. He's got double butterflies here, Mike. We got 20 seconds. Pushes him off of the feet. Beautiful hook, and again, they go the distance.
assistance. Right, stop, stop, and we'll head to check out the judges' scorecards. Joe, neither man embarrassed himself, but neither man really put on a show in that fight. It wasn't the best fight we've ever seen, but it was a good one. Let's go to the replay of that round, Mike. This was just an unbelievable counter right here. This is flawless timing. And here we see the striking game being neutralized with a big takedown. And here's that lightning fast takedown. Amazing wrestling technique. The judges have rendered their scorecards. Bruce Buffer has the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score it 49, 46, 49, 46, and 49, 46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision. And now, the new UFC Light Heavyweight Champion of the World, Brandon the Truth Bearer. Brandon the Truth Bearer is the new UFC Light Heavyweight Champion.